paper here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a review, so I think it's fair to say that I've given this juice plenty of time to get the flavor, try and get the taste down, and hopefully give you guys a good explanation. But I'll tell you what, this is going to be a tough one. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Totally Wicked Patriot Range Persian Vanilla. It was one of the ones that kind of had my curiosity a little bit, so I went ahead and ordered it. And curious, I think, was the perfect word for it. This one, it, it's a little bit different. I, I, I at a loss, really, of finding anything to try and describe the flavor. One thing I do want to mention, though, if you're looking for a juice and looking for that typical vanilla taste that you would get from, say, a candy or a coffee drink or, you know, the vanilla we all know, this is not going to be the juice you want to order. Do not order this juice if you're looking for that taste. Um, the easiest way for me to describe it is it's really a, almost like an earthy, natural vanilla bean type flavor. Um, it has a real deep, earthy, almost, uh, you might say like a floral or perfumey tone to it. But I was really surprised by this. When I first got it, instantly popped it in an atomizer, gave it a taste, and I hated it. I, I did, I hated it. I wanted to throw it away. Figured it was going to be one of those 30 mils that sat in the in the stash with you know 29 mils left of it, and you never do anything with the rest of it. But I kept kept on it off and on throughout the day, and by the end of the night, it was it was pretty strange because I loved it. By the end of the night, the more and more I tried it, the more and more the flavor kind of grew on me. Um, after probably about the first or second week, it turned it out. It was one of my top vapes. If I, if I were to go out during the day, I usually take about three or four different flavors with me, and Persian Vanilla would be one of those three or four. So, without anything further, let's go ahead and give it a quick vape and see how it vapes. Um, first, we'll go ahead and just go on a standard 510. Give that a couple drops. I didn't pre-fill any carts or anything. I'm going to go ahead and direct her up here. And these atomizers, just so you know, I, I drained them a little bit, but the only thing I've been vaping in each atomizer that I'm using here has been Persian vanilla, so it's fairly broke into the atomizer. All right, let's go ahead and give it a go. I will say this this atomizer here is a little weak because it's a newer atomizer, so it's not going to give the vape, vapor justice, but you'll see a little bit better shot of that here in a minute. I think I'm pretty low on my battery there, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, go ahead and give it a vape on a tornado. Um, this one, I do have the low resistance atomizer attached to it, um, just to kind of simulate. I don't have a high volt device that I can use to give you guys a simulation of what it might be at a high voltage, but the low resistance atomizer I do have, so we'll go ahead and give it a shot there. Let's get a couple drips in that one. going to vape a little better on this one, I promise. I was surprised with the Patriot range. Any juice that I've tried so far, I always get great vapor off of it. A lot of those juices out there, depending on where you get them from, they're going to have kind of a weak vapor, but a lot of flavor. Um, I get a pretty even balance out of this, but I do get great vapor, that's for sure. And we'll go ahead and go with one more device here. We'll go ahead and put on a 901. Got the MK2. And 
now that you've seen it on each device, I'll talk about flavor. Um, one of the purest flavors that I get out of this juice specifically has been on a 901 Atomizer. And that's pretty strange because I'm normally a 510 guy. A lot of people out there prefer the 510, and I do in most cases. Um, this juice on a 510, it tends to have a little more of a harsh throat hit to it on a, just a standard 510. I'm a big fan of throat hit, but it's literally been a couple times where it comes to the point where you're exhaling and it almost takes your breath away. Um, it, it's the only juice that I've had do that to me actually, but that seems to smooth out a little bit on the 901 and the 901 brings that a little more flavor. Um, on these low resistance atomizers simulating that high voltage fade, I think this would be a great use for a high voltage device because that just it crisps some of the undertone flavors that are in this juice and it just makes it pop. It makes it all around a great vape. So um, standard 510, that's what I started vaping it on, but the more and more I vape on different devices, I would now go with the low resistance atomizer or a high voltage device for this juice, but it's a great, great vape on the 901 as well. Um, so that's that's pretty much it for the Patriot range. It's, it's I'm sorry guys, it's hard to describe the flavor on this. I, that's kind of where you wish you could automatically just go out and get a one mil sample bottle at a, at a local shop or something around town. That'd be the best way to, to get the taste of what this is. But if I had to sum it up, I would say probably like an earthy, um, natural, natural vanilla bean type flavor. Um, don't expect that, that sweet vanilla that you get from candies and drinks and things like that because this isn't going to be it. But that's it. Well, once again, totally wicked. It's the, the new Patriot range and this is Persian vanilla. Uh, so that'll be all we're doing on this one. Have a great night guys or day, whatever time it may be, and happy vaping. <laughs>